Hello and welcome to another short drawing lesson. This week we're going to use our imaginations and draw a sort of sports car from the 1950s, the sort of thing you might have seen at Le Mans. Um, so lots of swooping shapes, lots of nice flowing streamlined shapes. Um, and get your arm nice and loose and try to draw as lightly as you can at the beginning because we might, as we're making it up as we go along, we might change and reposition things as we do things. The first thing we'll do is a front wheel over this side. Next we'll do a, a rear wheel, two wheels further back. And now we need a couple of nice arching shapes over these. The front one's going to be fairly simple, just kind of quite close to the wheel, just a bulging shape. The second one over the back, going to be a little bit higher and start much closer to the wheel, but taper off behind. You can just let these taper off for now and to nothing because we're going to join them up with some other lines. Um, coming to the front of the car, we need a decent overhang, sort of about three quarters of a wheel, two thirds of a wheel, wherever this curve naturally wants to start turning. Back on itself and then making a lovely big swooping underside. And a decent overhang at the back, at least a wheel, maybe even more. Again, you can just let these curves run into each other nicely. Um, next we need somewhere for the driver to sit and because the engines are usually in the front in these days it's going to be very far back isn't he? So perhaps over here somewhere we'll just lightly put in somewhere where the cockpit could be. Imagine it curving down running into the bonnet and um, usually behind the driver you often got these sort of uh, headrests which were fared into the bodywork and that's quite fun. So we're starting to get a simple shape there of a sports car. Um, a nice thing they did used to do is set the wheels in quite far and have a big overhang on the bodywork. Again trying to make them more streamlined so that the front we could have one of those big scoops which Aston Martin did. Something like that. Covering over the top half of the wheel. Same at the back you know the back wheels don't turn so they can be really hidden. They could be hidden altogether if you like. It does make it more difficult to change a wheel or something though if you have to get a cover off first. To make the bonnet more interesting we can have a, a bulge on there to cover the intakes. And there we can uh, put a windscreen on. See it might just change my cockpit outline ever so slightly there just to make it it was looking a bit narrow here so I'll just thicken things up there. Um, so we've got our basic shape in. I think now we can start making it look nice. So this is the point where we can start to add tiny details um, and also press a little bit harder in places where there might be some shadow. We'll add some headlights, maybe some sort of side lights or indicators. Um, give me a scoop there. The exhaust could come out of the side here under the wheel arch. So you have a forking pipe, a muffler, and then it comes out here. And I think we should do this car at speed with a driver. So we'll put his head maybe here somewhere. That helped me. It looks a bit modern actually. It should have been more of a cloth cap maybe. I don't know. You can just see his hands on the wheel there. The temptation is always to put driver's heads too far back, but you need to leave a bit of room for there backs hunched over and their shoulders behind the head. So make sure you draw it fairly far forward. Head rest. They didn't have a lot of stickers on these early cars but they did have a big number. You know round also you can pick your own favourite number to draw. Some numbers are different, more difficult than others aren't they? Um, fives aren't too bad. Um, and 
I'm going to go slightly cartoony and draw some some dust and draw the shadow a little bit away from the wheel so it looks like it's flying slightly, it's sort of skipping across the surface. Some little pieces of gravel coming up. And we can, just like we do with the other in, uh, tutorials, we'll just show the wheels on the far side of the car. Darken the underside so it all feels a bit more three-dimensional. It can add some shadow over the wheel. I'm going to try and keep my shading horizontal because it will all add to the feeling that this car's zooming in this direction. So if my shading was vertical that might just kind of interrupt the flow a bit. So try to keep these these shaded bits going in the direction of the car. You don't want to go crazy on the shading, it's, it's just a matter of getting a nice balance between dark and light and detail and looseness. You can add little whiz lines coming off the hubs, that's quite nice. You definitely wouldn't see any spokes at this sort of speed, the wheels just become a blur. Speaking of which, you could have some little whiz lines on there, not too many. I do like to do these flourishes that I don't know why that works but it to me it just feels like an extra bit of dynamism. Sometimes on the back here you might get a little filler cap and some lights on the back. You probably see, oh no not an exhaust on this one, we've already done the exhaust haven't we? So with chrome or shiny bits You draw the horizon line sort of halfway up them that generally gives the impression that something's chrome or shiny. And that probably might that's probably all we need to do. We can firm a, a couple of these early lines that we did that are starting to get a bit lost. But don't go too far with them. It's it's important to keep a few nice loose light lines. The ones you can definitely firm up are underneath the car where it's dark. And that's pretty much it. Like I say, it's, it's just from our imagination, so you can play around with the size of these overhangs and how curvy you go, or how much you cover the wheels and all this sort of thing. You can, you can uh, do hundreds of different versions of them. Maybe even have a look at a real, some real ones and see see what they really look like. You might just see some door shut lines or there could be some little lines of rivets showing you where the car's been put together. And now we'll call that done. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you're having a great week. Like and subscribe and all that stuff and I'll see you again for another one soon.